the Seattle Seahawks finally found their defensive coordinator. It's Sean Desai. Sean Desai was one of the candidates for the Seattle defensive coordinator job. It was him and often a defensive assistant Joe Witt who coaches for the Cowboys. So when the Seahawks decided on Desai, you can bet Cowboys fans were happy that Joe Witt was staying as a Dallas Cowboy assistant. Now I will say this, if you watched the game last night, you would know the Rams won the Super Bowl. We will talk about that in our game recap, but I want some big notes right here. Odell Beckham Jr. was hurt. He ended up injuring his knee, left the game, did not return. Andrew Whitworth, to retire, he didn't talk about He won Walter Payton Man of the Year, which was impressive. But he didn't. He then said, well, probably going to be done because there's nothing else that I can accomplish. And what's better to accomplish? Winning your first Super Bowl at age 40 when you're still a key player, you're not a backup, against your old team that you were drafted to in 06. That's impressive. Yeah, there's nothing else that you need to do. You've done everything. You've gone to Pro Bowl. You've been an All-Pro. You've done all these things that you can do as an offensive lineman in the NFL. Now, here was a surprising move. Aaron Donald to retire? How, how does this happen? Well, I'll give you an example. Aaron Donald to retire. Not technically. Not saying it's imminent. Not like Andrew Whitworth, where it's basically imminent. One of the things is Donald doesn't, Donald doesn't need to retire or doesn't even need to play anymore because he's already been shown that he's the best defensive tackle in the game as he showed that last night in terms of just how he took over the fourth quarter the second half of the third quarter and the whole fourth quarter but I think he looks at it he's like I've been an all pro, I've been a pro bowler I've won a Super Bowl all before my eight before I turned 31 I don't need to do anything else I mean I guess I could go do it again, but that doesn't really seem exciting to me at this point. I've won Defensive Player of the Year. I've done the things I need to do. So, and when they asked him after the Rams won, they said flat out, I don't know yet. I'm just going to celebrate with my family. Which, why would they say, yes, I'm done as I just finished the game? There's a lot of emotions going on. Another player who did retire was Eric Weddle. Eric Weddle ended up getting hurt early in the game. He actually tore his pec in the game. He stayed in it, though. They just put a harness on it, and here we go. But he did retire again. A guy who retired for the last two years, came back in the playoffs when the Rams needed him, and here we go. That's a crazy story in the career of Eric Weddle. Now, here's something we didn't talk about in the NFL on it video. Who won Defensive Player of the Year? Well, it was TJ Watt. JJ Watt actually introduced him. That was a great moment. I just want to really put down the second person. There was three people on it. Michael Parsons, Miles Garrett, and TJ Watt. Now, to me, there should have been four or five because I think you put Diggs and some other people on there, but who was second to T.J. Watt? Michael Parsons. So it was ridiculous. It made no sense, yet everything was just happening. It was remarkable. But enough of the NFL honors. Into actual news now. The NFL owners sense that it could be time for Daniel Snyder to sell the Washington Commanders. I think that's good. There's too many things. There's a new investigation going on. That's too much to me. I think it is time for him to sell. Now, it's not just the fact that Daniel Snyder might have to sell. It actually might be as well. The Dolphins may have to be sold as well as our 
report came out this morning. It says Ross, the owner, could be forced to sell the team if the Dolphins are found guilty of what we did here about the Dolphins saying we're paying you, Brian, for us to lose so we get a better draft for it. Better draft pick. Which then brought Cleveland into it because that's basically what they did for the last, like, that's what, before a few years ago, that's basically what they were doing before they got Miles Garrett, Baker Mayfield, and all these players. So you can put them into that too. Now, granted, that's not exactly correct, but they could. Super Bowl MVP is a big award. Normally it goes to the quarterbacks. This year went to Cooper Cup. Well, uh, well deserved, by the way. Well deserved. He's the do everything man. Normally give it to Stafford or Burrow in that situation. But Stafford had two interceptions. Burrow got sacked like almost nine, ten times, I think. It was too much going on. I think this is a good move. Cooper Cup is basically a do everything man. They couldn't run the ball, give the ball to Cup. OBJ gets hurt, give the ball to Cup. Or try to, anyway. So, I think it was a good choice for Cooper Cup. Now, there was a lot going on after the Super Bowl. As we said, Eric Weddle retired. There was a rumor at one point early in the day that Sean McVay was thinking of if I continue coaching like I coach, I won't live past 60. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but that could be something that they look at and these younger coaches look at as the effects of an NFL season. That could easily happen. But more things happen as I remember Van Jefferson had to go to the hospital, not because he was hurt. After the game was over, he drove to the hospital because his wife had to leave mid-game because she was in labor. So congratulations to Van Jefferson and his family. And then Tyler, Tyler Rapp, Rams cornerback, actually proposed to his girlfriend after the Super Bowl on the field. So I guess that's a risk that you're taking. That, hey, we're going to win, so I'm just going to propose on the field. Because if I don't win, do I still do it or just hold it on my back pocket and we wait till we get outside? I don't know. Figure it out. But hey, we won the Super Bowl. I'm going to go right here. Let's go. But yeah, a great moment for Rap Jefferson and the intrigue of what Sean McVay said entering Super Bowl that he could retire and Aaron Donald, what he, Aaron Donald, what he said that he could retire. That's news that we'll have to pay a little more attention to.